Hey everybody, it's Brian from iSpring, and today I'm going to give you a quick overview of iSpring QuizMaker 9. Right here in the QuizMaker Quick Start window, you can create a new graded quiz or survey. A graded quiz can contain any question type, and a survey is limited to non-graded survey questions. You can always change the quiz type later in the properties. Let's create a new graded quiz. Here in the quiz editor, you can add new questions, info slides, question groups, and three types of intro slide, which can be used individually or all together. There are 14 question templates to choose from. Let's add a classic multiple choice question. Right here in the form view, it's super easy to edit the question text, add some answer choices, and customize the feedback messages. Plus, I can add a picture, video, or audio to the question. Let's go ahead and add this nice landscape. Now I'll switch over here to slide view and see how it looks. All these objects can be edited just like a PowerPoint slide, including ducking objects behind all the other ones. I'm also going to put these answer choices into four columns so they spread out nicely over this blue sky. If you want, you can also insert extra content like pictures, shapes, special text, media, and assets from the iSpring content library. Over here on the right are the slide options. I can change whether it's a graded or survey question, plus the feedback, branching, score, number of attempts, and time limit, and shuffle the answer choices. Down here I can preview and edit the feedback pop-ups, and then switch back to the slide content layer. Now I'm going to go up here and customize the quiz player. Here you can change the available features, user navigation, colors, and text labels. For example, I can pick a preset color scheme from this menu and tweak each individual color down here. That looks good, so I'll apply and close. To further fine tune your quiz, just go to the properties window. Here you can configure general options, plus scoring, question properties, question list, and reporting options. All right, now I've added a couple more questions, and I'm ready to publish this quiz for the web. Here in the Publish window, you can publish to a local folder for uploading later, or directly to iSpring Cloud Hosting Service or iSpring Learn LMS. If you already have an LMS, you can prepare a package to upload with this option. Enable iSpring Play free mobile app to let your users download this quiz to their devices, then change the size and quality settings if you like, and go ahead and publish. When the process is complete, a preview window will pop up. I'll just answer these questions, and check out the feedback messages, and now I can see my quiz results. Not only that, I can go back and review each question and see how my answers stacked up compared to the correct ones. Plus, here in the preview window, I can test out how this quiz works on mobile devices. Looks great! Thanks for watching! If you'd like to learn more about QuizMaker 9, check out more at our website, iSpringSolutions.com.